Hello, Brick Dark here. Today I'm reviewing the 2014 LEGO Star Wars Kashyyyk Troopers, which had four minifigures, 99 pieces, and retailed for $13 back in the day. So here's the 41st Elite Core Trooper. Most people know this as just the Kashyyyk Clone Trooper. Now this has appeared in several sets since, but at the time we could only get it in this set, and I think it was either the AT. DP or the gunship. Now this was the first year of stud shooters, which if you don't know how these work, push down on it, it fires. And this is just uses a new piece for the time as well. This is different from the piece they use for the scout trooper, I believe. Really nice printing all around. This is like the Geonosis troopers, but I think even better with this really just nice camouflage printing. Underneath is the angry clone face, which I think is only the second year of that use. So it wasn't as overused yet, but I think people were starting to catch on that this was going to be the new thing under every masked Star Wars character. Here's the Kashyyyk clone trooper who, like the 41st Elite Core trooper, has appeared in other sets since, but at the time this one was exclusive to the set from my understanding. Comes with the stud shooter, you do get two of them in the set, just like you got two of the 41st Elite Core Troopers. Use the newer, the new style uh, Phase 2 helmet, which looks very nice with that camouflage printing. Focus, damn it. Looks really nice. It has some different legs, they're not brown, it continues that camouflage printing. Overall, just a very nice figure, overall. The build for this is like a mini Swamp Speeder, and we haven't gotten many Swamp Speeders. We got one in 2010 that was egregiously overpriced, and we might have gotten one back in 2005 or 2006. Now, it might look a bit weird at the front with those empty clips, but you can take the stud shooters of the figures in the set and attach them to the front, and it looks a bit more complete and has weapons now. You can fit two of your clones in, just position it, there's some seats on both sides that you can use to control the swamp speeder. There's not like a control panel on either of these, and these are just, these shields are attached by a Technic pin, but they do hide the figure pretty well, and it looks pretty nice with the figures in there. At the back, you do have this engine part, which you can kind of turn around, and they do build this middle section pretty interesting using some clips. There's not too much else going on. I mean, there are these translucent bits of the bottom to make it look like it's floating. But that's about it for the build of this set. Let's take a look at the instructions. The instructions are nice and small, which is what they should be for a battle pack. Now, interesting, they have a minifigure checklist and it includes the Republic Cannon and the Coruscant Police Dropship, but it doesn't actually show the sets on the side. Out of the sets here, I really don't care for any of these. I would get another one of this set and the 212th set, but really there's nothing else I don't already own that I want to get. So, this is an interesting one. It's like the Geonosis Troopers Battle Pack, which I reviewed a couple of days ago, but at the same time, it's not. It's like it in that it has these very cool camouflaged characters. But what's different is that with the Geonosis Troop, it's more of a one and done battle pack. You buy one, you, you like the figures, but you don't really buy 10, 20, 50, 100 of. This on the other hand, this is one you could buy 10, 20, 50, 100 of. Because these do appear in the movie, and despite not appearing for very long, they are they do appear long enough for fans to develop a connection to them, not as much as the 501st, or the 332nd, or the 212th, but they're there enough that the demand for these guys is there. And so this is probably a set I'll end up buying again sealed in the future, maybe two or three of, and so should you buy this set? I say yes, if you want a little taste of the Battle of Kashyyyk, because really the only Kashyyyk stuff we get is the constant re-release of the ADP and the droid gunship. I'd say definitely go for this and pick up like two or three if you can. 
So overall, I'll give the set an 8 out of 10. It's a very nice set, got very nice figures. And overall, just a very, very nice and complete battle package you can buy multiples of. Anyway, that's it for this video. See you guys later. Peace.